Okay guys, so got a special one for you today. I don't even have to introduce that boat because you know what it is. You already know. We are about, and when I say we, first off, let me let you know that we includes my main man, Lewis. He's a talker. He's a big talker, like myself and my main man, Ayo, right here. How you doing? Ayo, I don't know if, I guess you all know Ayo. Maybe not. <sighs> they know. I hope. They know. So guys, this, is going to be an overnight 24 hour survival challenge off of this bad girl right here. Me? I didn't watch this first. Why? No, no, film them, film them. Film them? Yeah, because everybody that drives by the lifeboat, they be looking hard. Did they look? They waved. They're thinking, what are y'all doing filming me? I've never filmed somebody like that. <laughs> Do you feel wrong? Like you just did something wrong? I kind of feel wrong? like I violated them for sure. So guys, let me introduce you to the 64 man, 64 personas, excuse me. You're going in this little, little bitty hole right here. So you gotta grab right here. And then you gotta just kinda send it. And then bam, you are in this thing, guys. And it is absolutely amazing. Oh, spilling a little energy drink. Pour it up the homie. So guys, we have, you did not get to see us bring in all of this stuff. And it was actually a lot to bring in. That right there. It's gonna feed us tonight because we are going to catch one. We have to catch a fish today. That is the goal. Yeah, the videos would suck if we don't. We're gonna do it. You ever been in a lifeboat? I have never been in a lifeboat, especially a 64 persona. Now, I did go on a cruise one time. Yeah. And they required us to, you know, learn about them, but they didn't let us get in. So. They really teach you about them on a cruise? They teach you how to go about being saved from a sinking boat. They don't like teach you how to use a lifeboat or nothing. I, I think they. I guess they assume that one of their guys got it. Oh, hey, I have never seen this side of you, my man. Let's get it. Oh, we are. Are we in there? We are in there, dude. We're in there like swimwear? Swimwear it up. I feel great. Me too. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far. Like, if it blows out. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is it comes off the truck, flips down the road, it's toast, and then you got to worry about cleaning it up. You going to do it now? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to dump this thing in the water. So this is like one of my first... Put your seat back on there. Come on. You got young kids watching. Yeah. Listen, guys. Safety first. She's rocking, dude. Oh, good. This would be the place if you wanted it to flip. I mean, I don't want it to flip, but if it flipped, this is where I want it to flip. In the marina. Wow, we just hit a little buck. I'm going out the exit. You're going in the exit? Out the exit. If you're going out the exit... Would that make you like a turd? I guess so. I'm going out the entrance now, so I guess that's more like a vomit. I've never done this and not pissed anybody off. That means there's definitely gonna be a game warden waiting on us. If there is one... I say we just park and don't get out and just wait and see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, we just come out here every Wednesday and just park. <laughs> we, like, just, we just come out here and park. We've never dipped this boat in the water. We're grilling out, dude. Yeah. This is our camper dog. Holy cow. Dude, there's two rod holders up there. One for me, one for you. One on the other side, too. Oh. You are very limber, my friend. You are, too. Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to walk down here and meet you guys, right? Do whatever you want, big daddy. God mighty. Yeah, I'm I am busting out the seams, bro. You say you can't do a split, bro. That right there told otherwise. I could. I think I could like it's just the repercussions that you're not willing to. Right. <laughs> you're looking good, bro. Hey, start cutting it a little bit though. So guys, let's just say that getting a boat of this size in a lake like this, on a boat ramp like this, not very easy. Not very easy at all. But my boy is making it look good. All right, so we're unattached for these. So warm, dude. Ah. So Ayo has decided to hop on off in the water. Dude, we've done it, man. Guys, we have been worried about this for hours right now, trying to come up with a strategic plan on how to get this thing into the water. And for a little while, we were a little nervous, thinking that it wasn't going to happen. But we have made it happen. We made it happen, made it happen bro. Good start for sure. We're in the water. Dude, I feel like we're about to touch bottom. 
Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I feel a little numb. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't get a little wet. Yeah. Did you bring a towel? Yeah, I did. That's good. And a change of clothes. Good thinking. Good work, man, for real. Thank you. That's awesome. I feel a whole lot better about it. I do too. When we first came out here this morning, man, I was nervous. Like when we looked out over this and saw just how low it really is out here, we were both nervous. I mean, guys, I'm gonna walk back here and show you just how low this lake really is right now. Everything you're seeing is normally completely submerged underwater. And right now it is not, but we are on the 64 person houseboat. Excuse me, lifeboat. Guys, so we have really drawn a crowd. We made it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, that was scary. Can you the video? Yeah. Check out YouTube AO Fishing, A Y O, on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, yeah. It's very long shotish, but I have seen them get in that kind of shallow water. Wow, that Thanks was um, that was amazing. Thank you. It was almost like a bird had already gotten all the seed from you that he needed and he's headed on to see his family. <laughs> we have a small problem. We're starting to go into the bank. I feel like it's a small problem that can turn into a big problem. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Got us pushed off pretty easily. Now let's get to it. No. If it makes you feel any better, I don't know anything about outboard motors either. Yeah, me neither. Why are we smoking back here? We are smoking, boys. Where's it smoking at? Back. Still smoking bad. So something is... Uh, See that? Yeah. It's pretty thick smoke. Dude, that is. It's not good. Not good at all. I wonder if it's some of this gear. Oh, yikes. I don't want to try again if we're starting fires. I understand that. We're in a situation for sure. I wish I knew more about inboard motors. There's not, it's not like a normal boat that you just YouTube. Nobody YouTubes how to fix your enclosed life boat <laughs> that's catching on fire. Yeah, nobody's got that going for them. No. I know this is not what you want to hear, my friend. <clears throat> you see this paddle right here? It works. It does work. And I have an exact match. So we could do it? Right there. Well, I, I say let's... And we could paddle to out there to that shoal. And Let's we would just it. have to pray to the good Lord that there's a fish there. Well, let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. Dude. I feel like I'm getting close to death. <laughs> dude, we're getting close to this bank, man. Game warden comes out here. We're just paddle Bro, if the game warden comes out here right now, he ain't writing us no tickets. When he sees what we're doing, I mean, bro, we're out here in a lifeboat. Things have gotten hard for us right now. Our lifeboat won't even start, bro. Yeah, how disappointing would that be, dude? Your oil rig's on fire and your lifeboat doesn't run. Yeah. I'm just saying, if a game warden writes us a ticket out here, paddling a lifeboat, dude, he has no heart. Bro, I'm a little exhausted. I am too. This is like fourth quarter when you play both ways. Yeah, it is. So I think we're good. Ooh. Hey, bro, you ever sweat like anything like this? Not really. Mm. Dude, I must have been paddling a lot harder than you. Probably. I didn't even paddle for real. All right, guys, so here is where we are in the game. We have paddled. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking like. 300 yards paddled a 64 personas that's a lot of boat either way we have made it to our spot there's a few brush piles out here that i know about so i'm hoping that i can save the day because right now we're in dire need of a fish and i think i can make it happen if i do make it happen i will have saved the day so let's get it first bait of choice the alabama rig
You think we should get closer to that pole? I, I think so, don't you? Let's do it. How close are we there? Uh, let's, go, let's go about five points of stroke. Okay. So I will say my confidence level in the rooster tail just went up a tad. You like shallow water rooster tailing? I do. I don't know why. I do too. Like if I'm on rooster tail it, I just feel much more confident being able to throw it some shallow water. I've never seen the lake like this. Not from this. Like from where this we are right now. Up. Yeah. Like we're on top. I'm way up. First two spots that we fished were absolute bust. Nothing happened. We have the main plan. We were gonna do this either way, but we have three green lights. If you don't know green light fishing, it's pretty unique fishing. A lot of lakes down here, they have green lights that attract bait, that attract more bigger bait, then all of a sudden there's 10 pound bass swimming around. So we're gonna try to set up in the river channel, put out green lights, just glow this boat up and bring fish to us because we can't go to them. That sounds like a good game plan to me. We can either glow it up Crank the engine again and blow it up. It's totally up to you. Okay, what is our game plan? Game plan, game plan, game plan. Ditch hey. Lewis. Ditch Lewis. Throw him in a lake. Throw, Throw him in some lake. Catch me outside and I'm going to cut stay. Hey. Hey. We ain't got no fish. He's going to get his feet wet. Hey. <laughs> hey. Sorry the shot sucks right now. I know it's super dark, but I'm about to brighten it up. You got to see these lights that my awesome wife got me for Christmas. Shout out to you. Ashley May. Ashley. It's about to get bright, fellas. Mm -hmm. Let's shine some light on the subject. Golly, dude. Wow. Uh -huh. You got some headlights, dude. Bro, check them out. <laughs> Head headlights on high beam because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we lit this place up, man. We did, dude. They look white. Wow, dude. Crazy I don't know how camera. GoPro did that. I mean, it is super bright, guys. I don't know why GoPro's doing it, but it's making it white. It has some color adjustment. Oh. These are green. Yeah. Solid green. Solid green, baby. Going into Agua. Super bright. Super, super bright. <sighs> they are incredibly bright. Hopefully those are going to bring us in some fish, because your boy getting hungry. Hungry. You already knew that. All right, folks, it's been a long night. We have had zero bites, and I mean zero. So I'm about to chum the water with half of this catfish bait. King cat, chicken blood. It smells absolutely rancid, it smells terrible. Some people would say it smells like a hee hoo, but. <laughs> I love that it could be interpreted in so many ways. So when I was in high school, my aunt took me fishing to a public fishing lake. So it was one of those deals where I had to go back to school. When I walked back in to class, I had half of one of these things stuck to the bottom of my shoe and never knew it. And so when I sat down in class, everybody went nuts. And when I finally got a whiff of it and realized what it was, I asked to go to the bathroom. And as soon as I stand up from my seat and start walking out, homegirl calls me out and she's like it's him it's him it's definitely him so anyway guys just rule of thumb don't step in none of this junk you'll be smelling like a hee hoo that's enough yeah i think so up to my waist let's just say we don't need to fall off of that in the middle of the night mm. bro how's she feel it's actually not bad right here I think it's gonna work fine. Oh, it's just sick. It's a little stiff. We might need to let some air out. <sighs> all right, guys, just. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get you at all? A little bit, yeah. Oh, uh, I just got out of the bed with AO, guys. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> let me tell you what. Like, uh, woo! <laughs> so, we have made it. Two hour bed for the evening. <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm sorry. I wish we had cooler. Like, I was wanting a big part of your video to be you ripping the boat around. I just thought it would be so cool. Dude, that would have been cool. Well, w things have <laughs> changed. Things have changed for the evening, guys. 
actually for the whole day. As soon as we got here, yeah. things changed. It took yeah. a turn for the worse, I would say. I mean, I don't want to sound so Debbie Downer, but guys, we turned the engine over <laughs> and it caught on fire. Why are we smoking back here? We are smoking, boys. <laughs> I'm talking Smokey Bear sitting right there shaking his head like, dude. <laughs> dude, stop. What stop, you're doing. please. <laughs> Either way, guys, engine did not cooperate. Yeah. So we had to do a little paddling, and I'm probably going to show you some of those clips right here. Dude, whoever says you can't paddle a 64 person lifeboat is wrong. Had a ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, dude. It was uh, awesome, dude. It really wasn't that bad, considering that all we had to paddle was like, I don't know, 400 yards <laughs> in a 16,000 pound lifeboat either way guys i'm not worried about much i mean what could go wrong if you're in a lifeboat so we're about to catch a little shut eye i got my sleeping bag under me wrong you're about to tell me something you know bro dope. sorry about that learn that out i don't hey, ever man. blur mine out <laughs> my stomach's <laughs> always just blah you know what i'm saying on me like just leave it man either uh, way guys good night night man night bro The sun feels really good. It does. What do you think the odds are there? Just one sitting there not moving. It could happen, but I'm not very confident in it. I was really hoping we'd come up here and see some rods bent. Clean hook. I believe I got the same thing. It does make me feel better to see that I still have some bait on here. Dang, bro. All of our rods are in and no fish. Yikes. I always think out loud. You call my father in law. You do your thing. Ah! Bad? Mm, it hurt. It hurt bad, for sure. Oh! Oh dang, that does, I know that hurt. That's one of the pinchy hurts. Dude, it's getting bluer by the minute. About to start pushing hard. One, two, three. I don't know. I think the front's moving more than the back. We look dumb, my friend. <laughs> We dang show do, homie. <laughs> when you sit back and think about what we're doing, we yeah. look dumb, homie. Yeah. We do. But hey, I don't care. <laughs> I don't either. What are you talking about, Father? Okay. <clears throat> So Anchor is the number one charging technology company in the world, guys. We wouldn't be able to do half of these survival challenge videos without our anchors. So huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. Anchor, Anchor, Anchor. We really appreciate you guys. We had power all night and it really blew our minds. Had a lot of fun. Always had the juice. We didn't catch no fish, so it seems like we lose. If you need a battery source, Anchor's who you choose. Wake up in the morning, charge your phone while you poos. You gotta push off the bank for the eighth time. Bro, we're moving, dude. me pump dude we did it bro we did it here on the boat ramp and we have somebody coming up we're right in their way so this thing isn't terribly hard to drive
Well guys, that's it for today's video. I sure hope that you have enjoyed it. I had an awesome time today. I have never done anything like that. Drive a lifeboat out here on my home pond, guys. That's pretty cool. Always a good time coming out here and filming with AO. Definitely a good time being on a lifeboat. 64 personas. He's getting the trailer back in. We're about to put this bad girl on the trailer and that's gonna be my job. So we shall see. As always guys, be sure to hit like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Let's get this thing to like a thousand likes, guys. I appreciate and love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. The channel's grown super quick. It's got me excited beyond measure, guys. I'm, I'm excited about it. I appreciate you. Peace.